Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative square root of 12 plus 3 square root of 3. Well, what I want to do here is I want to see if I can get both of these to have a square root of 3. Luckily, I know 12 is the same thing as 4 times 3. So I'm going to take a negative here and write 4 times 3. So the square root of 4 times 3 instead of 12. All right. And now, since I did that, okay, I noticed I, I chose 4 times 3 instead of like 6 times 2 because I saw a 3 there and I wanted to get a 3 somewhere in that square root. So now I'm going to separate this. Negative square root of 4 times the square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 3. We're allowed to separate here. This multiplication inside, we can separate into the square root of each part individually. That works for us because square root of negative, uh, square root of 4 is just a 2. So we have negative 2 out here times the square root of 3 plus 3 times the square root of 3. Well, now we have both the same square roots. That was our goal. So we look and we add what's in front. Negative 2 plus 3 is just a 1. Don't really need to write the 1. 1 times the square root of 3. And there we go. Our final answer here is just a simple square root of 3. So let's recap. We're given negative uh, square root of 12 plus 3 square root of 3. We then well, wanted to see, hey, I, how can we have both of these be square root of 3? Well, 12 is 4 times 3, so I wrote 12 to be 4 times 3. Separate it out to be square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2. At this point, the negative 2 out there, right, negative 2 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3, they had the same square root. We looked to the number in front of the square root, negative 2 plus 3. Add together to be a 1. There's an imaginary 1 that's right out there. And so uh, with the imaginary 1 out there, uh, we're bringing that square root of 3 just right there, and so our final answer, again, is just square root of 3.